my UEFA Europa League bracket in uh, in detail right here. Uh, starting with Man United in Sevilla, the narrative for that one is going to be revenge for Man United against Sevilla uh, for the Champions League round of 16 knockout uh, in 2018 when Jose Mourinho was manager. And it is Sevilla that knocked out Man United of the Europa League uh, back in uh, 2021. So it's showing the Champions League. Uh, round of 16, uh, Sevilla, they knocked out Man United August 16th uh, to make it to the final against Inter. Uh, Man United uh, get revenge against Sevilla uh, this year. Uh, Man United are through. I think uh, Bayern and Leverkusen have enough quality to advance to the semifinal, and Juventus are going to defeat Sporting. They will... Uh, not have any problems against Sporting Lisbon. Uh, Juventus right now in the Europa League. Four matches played, three victories, seven goals, one allowed. Very easy, but then, but then if you go to Sporting. 2022-2023, you're going to see something that I really like here when they go up against Juve. Uh, we'll see if their 13th loss of the season in all competitions happens against Juve because it's Juve that's Jumatia 13. If they lose another in the league or if they don't lose again until the uh, Europa League. Uh, they've scored 85 goals up to the point of this draw. It is... Uh, the Hazel disaster of 1985, uh, Juventus won their first uh, Champions League title. Uh, they could, if they lose both matches against Juventus, have one win, three draws, and two losses in the Europa League. It is Juventus that is Shimachi 132. If Juventus with a fully fit case, uh, fully fit Pogba, Valve, it starts to come to life again. Ju Juventus are going to be very commanding in the UEFA Europa League uh, this year. We could see six matches played and five wins for Juventus when it's all said and done. After the quarterfinals, Budapest, Hungary is uh, Gematria of 65. And uh, Feyenoord won 7 nothing against Shakhtar. Shakhtar is, uh, is very good in, in Europe. I will go with the upset in this one. They scored 7 goals. Roma in Feyenoord. The rematch of the European uh, Conference Final from last year when Feyenoord, they, they hit the post a lot of times. And... Uh, the striker on that team, he's no longer there. He, he plays somewhere in Assyria. I forgot who he played for. But anyway, Feyenoord really could have gotten something out of his Dessers. Dessers is his name. He doesn't he doesn't play on on uh, Feyenoord anymore. He uh, plays for Cremonese in uh, in Syria right now. So uh, Feyenoord with their Capitulation of Shakhtar. Feyenoord is going to be an upset pick. And the uh, Juventus to defeat Man United with Paul Pogba. To upset Man United. Nineteen ninety nine obviously was the was the big uh, was the big matchup. Nineteen ninety nine. It may have been like two thousand two or two thousand three that they faced off. Uh, in in the Europa League, uh, Juventus. I like to get their fifth win against Man United in all competitions. Juventus five, Man United five. Ten Hag gets to match fifty five. Old Trafford is to match fifty six. Five wins and six losses. It may it's it's probably gonna be a win in, 
in the draw against Man United if we are being very honest right here. And so Juventus to get the victory against Man United. Juventus to move on in the final against Feyenoord. I will go with another European trophy against the Dutch club. Juventus 2-7 in the Champions League final. 1995-1996 was against Ajax. Feyenoord entering the draw have 58 points for the season. It is Juve, that's Jumacho 58. Juventus have 38 points right now. It's actually 53 when you don't include the farcical 15-point penalty. Massimiliano, Jumacho 53. Feyenoord is Jumacho 53 in 107. Juventus can play in their first European final since the 2017 final at Cardiff. Cardiff, Wales is Jumacho Feyenoord and Massimiliano Allegri. Juventus can win its next Europa League title 30 years after 1993 when they defeat Holland. It is Holland that's Jumacha 30. Juventus win the Europa 27 years after 1996. They will defeat another Dutch club. In my view, Feyenoord Rotterdam is Jumacha 95. Juventus won the Champions League of the 95-96 season. The Juventus to defeat Feyenoord. Feyenoord lose to Roma and, and Feyenoord then lose to Juventus. Juventus beat Ajax in the Champions League final. Now they beat the other Dutch club, Feyenoord. They made the 25th and the 31st. This was uh, the European Conference uh, final. Fifty-three weeks later is the Europa League final. This is where we see Juventus. Fifty-three weeks after Feyenoord played in the European Conference final, we can see Feyenoord lose to Allegri and Juventus. Juventus played on June the 3rd of 2017. Juventus have scored 63 goals for this season. Anjo Di Maria. Anjo is to match 21. Anjo among the leading scorers of the Europa. It is uh, Feyenoord that have last won the Europa League in 2002. And Feyenoord will drop to 2-1 and one in the final after losing to Anjo Di Maria. Anjo 21. Two final wins in three appearances. Pogba is Jumacha 23. Pogba will be back for this. Chiesa is Jumacha 27. Chiesa helps Juventus win their next European trophy 27 years after 1995. This is what Federico Chiesa is going to do for the Juventus. Federico has Jumacha of Budapest, Hungary. At Hungary, Juventus to defeat Feyenoord in the final. The Juventus, two wins. Feyenoord, one win. It's going to be three and one. Like, uh, well, eight goals scored for Juventus, four for Feyenoord. It's going to be nine goals scored for Juventus, four goals scored for Feyenoord against Juventus. Juventus, nine goals, Feyenoord, four. When Juventus take the lead, it is... Hungary that has Jumatria of 94. The Juventus to defeat Feyenoord at Budapest, Hungary in the UEFA Europa League final. March 17th to May the 31st. 75 and then 76 and they included. And Juventus 
four and one in the final, forty first European Cup nineteen ninety six. Let's see a boy you see I don't may have anything to do with this. Borussia is too much of 104. Juventus can win 2 to nothing. 10 goals scored, 4 allowed. Their, their last Europa final, defeating Borussia Dortmund. This is uh, the bracket right here. Juventus to defeat Bayonard in the final. 7 goals scored, 0 allowed for Feyenoord when they took on Shakhtar. The surprise pick in this Europa League. And up next, a snapshot of the UEFA Champions League, the whole bracket that I have with that. 